You know, I could always become a caterer if I don't make it as a rock star. Hi. Hi, Peter. We've been working out our percentage. What for? My track on the record. Your track? Well, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have got the record finished in time. And so Melissa, the mathematical genius, has been working out what percentage you have to pay me. Now, on the track, single word. It's not you playing, but Marion. Yeah, I know that. Therefore, whatever the royalties accrued for exploitation of that track, which would normally go to you, should go to Marion. That's me. And I calculate that. I told you, she's a genius. To be one-fifth of the royalties on that song. She'll work out to be about $7.50. And is payable for 50 years after her death. Really? Which means it'll be paid to her heirs, be they male or female. But of course, there is a simpler way out of it. What's that? You can pay her out now with a lump sum. Oh, 20 caramello bars? I reckon it should be $400. $400? Look, guys, this is great, but I've got better things to do. Otherwise, Marion won't consent to the release of the record. Am I hearing right? Is this Melissa? Melissa, the mathematical genius, who you've never had to face before because you've never given me enough aggro to warrant sticking her onto you. There is another alternative. Yeah, I thought so. Do you want to tell him? You tell him. He'll listen to you. Marion has agreed to drop all claims if you'll include the Marmalodians rap on the record. What? Now we've really made him mad. In return for which, Marion will surrender all claims to the song. And we won't ask for any royalties. We just want to be recording stars. You guys, the rap on our record? It's <laughs> a deal. What? what? As long as the others agree, you're on. There you go, genius. I've lost my appetite. But it's our record. They want to be in everything. All the parties, the world trips, and the limos, and... Just having a bit of a dream. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Well, it can't hurt. Can it? Well, on nearly every record you buy, there is a couple of dud songs on it. But theirs isn't a dud song. The rap's fantastic. Don't sound too excited. Well, it's definitely good enough to be included. Well, what are we going to say on the record? Oh, this rap was included because Puggle's kid sister blackmailed him into it. That's just being stupid. Come on, Bazza. Well, I mean... Let's put it to the vote. All those in favour of including the rap? It's got to be unanimous. Done. Well. Now we've got the contents worked out, we need a record cover. Any ideas? I think it should be challenging, like, uh, here we are, world. No, Frank, they should be as they are. Teenagers, that's their appeal. Have you any ideas? Only what we tried before. Why don't we just be what we are? The Orange Organics. Yeah. You know for you I drive at Monte Carlo. You know for you my devil is to climb up a tree. What do you think? Great. Great. <laughs> what do you 
Look at you. <laughs> Fantastic yarn, Annabelle. Happy, Peter? I don't believe it. We've actually done it. We've made a record. And I think it's going to sell like hot cakes. But there's only one problem. I have to go home. Oh. Oh. What? Things being what they are, my businesses have taken a bit of a battering of late, so I have to head up north. But there's no problem. Your distributor is dynamic. Discs, you're in good hands. Ooh. Yeah. Go! <laughs> well, I must say, son, I uh, owe you an apology. Why? What I'm trying to say is that I never thought any of this had ever happened. Well, for a long time, Dad, neither did we. Now, about the money I advanced you. You haven't been very good about paying it back, have you? However, now that this thing is a reality, I'm more than happy to leave it invested in the project. Really? Mm-hmm. What, so you don't want it back? No, it means I want it back when and if this record makes a profit. You see, son, I'm not really as mean as you think I am. I just don't like putting my hard-earned money into something that might come to nothing. And I didn't want you to think that money came easily. Well, I've learnt that lesson. Well, I just wanted you to know that I think things have turned out pretty well, in my opinion. What do you reckon? Yeah, I reckon so too. I'll get it. I want to throw us Hello. a big party. Why? For the launch of the record, of course. But isn't the distributor supposed to do that? I know, but I want to throw one too. Can I invite all my friends? The Marmalodians? Of course you can. No, I mean the whole school. What? Your friends are the whole school? They are now. I spend my whole lunch hour signing autographs. All because of one and a half tracks on our record. I think you might have given them the wrong idea, Marion. But I haven't had to spend any money for weeks. And if I really wanted to, I could have a whole queue of boys asking me to the movies every Saturday. Margaret. Just a minute, Frank. Well, why don't you then? Apart from the fact we wouldn't let you, of course. Because when I'm more famous than Kylie Minogue, I don't want half the school to be able to say, well, I took her to the movies when she was just Marion Wall, or I bought her a Slurpee, or... The distribution deal is off. What? What? Ditto! Dynamic Discs have gone bankrupt. They had their money in some investment company and they've gone broke and now they're out of business. And Aunt Annabelle has her fair share of problems up in Queensland and she can't come down here to do anything about it. So what do we do? Well, we've got all these records and no one to distribute them. <laughs> there are other distributors. OK, Brains, who are they? Look in the phone book. It's just a little bit more complicated than that. Well, we'll just have to sell them ourselves. <laughs> what, like open a record shop? No, just sell it. To people. Oh, come on, guys. I mean direct sales. My mum used to say that that singer Crinkle Harper used to do it. He'd sing at a gig and then he'd spend the rest of the night signing autographs and selling records. Actually, there's heaps of things we could do. Hey, I've got an idea. Oh, so do I. Uh... <laughs> Sorry about that. Look, if we were going to be beaten on this, we wouldn't be here now, would we? Well, I learned how to silk screen in school. If we print organic sweatshirts, we can make money that way. And we can give one away with every record. And if they don't sell, we've got shirts for life. <laughs> My sister's got a proper screen printer. Oh, great. And I can get heaps of cheap sweatshirts. How cheap is cheap? Like, will they burst as soon as someone puts one on? Cheap is in three fifty a shirt. Did they fall off the back of a truck? Nah, off the back of a sheep. <laughs> <laughs> we can get seconds. These are thirds and fourths. But they're OK. So we've got sweatshirts. What else? I've offered to be a pizza porter. What's that? Oh, it's the same as Dial of Pizzas, only different. It's the same, but different. <laughs> <laughs> Bazza always makes sense like that. <laughs> oh, give me a break. There's only one problem. A pizza porter needs a car. And not only don't I have a car, but I'd be too young to drive it even if I had one. <laughs> a small problem. <laughs> I could get you a horse. Could you imagine it? Delivering pizzas on horse. Oh, sorry about that. I got a bit squashed as I galloped. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose one of her parents could be a taxi. This is so unreal. Where to now? Um, 46 Morton Crescent. Right. I know where that is. Morton Crescent. 
There's only one thing wrong with this job. What's that, Mrs. Wall? Pizzas are making me hungry. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. It's truly amazing. What is? Bazza. We must have sold ten records tonight. Ten? Mm-hmm. We'd we'll have sold more. Only one of the addresses was wrong. He's a good salesman. Better keep an eye on him. One thing I don't understand, though, it may be a coincidence, but every house that bought a pizza bought a record. It's a great record. Right. Flat 6, 20 Sim Street. Well, if you're selling them, don't knock it. <laughs> Well, I can sell ten for a dollar. What? I bet you could. We need to make four dollars on each record just to cover costs. Really? Mm. You haven't sold any, have you? I was just kidding. Of course I know how much a record costs. How many have you sold, Marion? Give me time. What about all those autograph hunters? Uh, they have to have time to save up. The kids at your school are rolling in money. They could find heaps for our record if they wanted to. Now, if you're going to be bigger than Kylie Minogue, you better get your act together. Peter, apologise to your sister. This is serious business, Mum. We can't muck around anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm just getting a bit stressed out. Well, I promise to sell ten records tomorrow, before lunch. Not for a dollar. For three fifty each, OK? Yeah, we could wear that. Yeah. Yes, that's wonderful muffins. But don't forget, you have to do your schoolwork as well. You don't have to sell any records, sis. We'll be right. I just did the wrong thing, that's all. Oh? What's that, Marion? Well, I shouldn't have let Aunt Annabelle put our rap on it, because now no one will hear it unless they buy his record. You know, for a moment there, I really felt sorry for her. But never mind, I like her better the way she is. She keeps my brain sharp. Could you imagine if all brothers got on with their sisters? There'd be no debaters, no politicians. Voila! Oh, wow! Oh, unreal! Hey, Dad can give them to the jockeys to wear. Look at the colours, they're great! Have you quite finished? If you say so. Now, we need to clear $3.50 on each shirt. So if we sell them for $7, that means we can sell one and give one away. And it has helped, dear. I so look forward to your visits, not only for the medicine, but for your company. What is that interesting shirt you're wearing? Oh, this? Well, it's a pop group, actually. What's that, dear? A, a, a lemonade company? Am I nuts? Have you been looking after him better since I bought a record off you? Well, you're not nuts. Uh, your dad looks after a few horses. And I'm not nuts, either. Ooh, just as well you're not a jockey. You'd be too shrewd for the rest of us. They say I'll shrink as I get older. Nah, they'll be writing computers by then. <laughs> Very well, Mrs. Wall. If you'll just sign this contract, we'll distribute the orange organics worldwide. And further, if necessary. I just might let my lawyer have a look at this first. Oh. Fine. Well, suit yourself. But don't delay. We're very keen to get the Orange Organics exclusively. Do you have any children, Mr Morrison? No. Nope. Are you uh, musically inclined, Mr Morrison? No. Well, um... 
This is a very good record. Is it? Would you like to hear a little bit of it? This is a real estate office, not a supermarket. <laughs> well, life isn't all bricks and mortar now. <laughs> isn't it? <clears throat> Anyhow, getting back to 43 Sturt Street, uh, <clears throat> it's, it's the kind of property that you will you'll like. It must be love. Well, I did enjoy that. Perhaps you would enjoy the whole album. Would you like to buy one? Oh, indeed I would. I would. What's going on? What do you mean? Well, I've been getting calls from people. They love the pizzas, but they want more records. You're not flogging records on my time, are you? It was simple, really, and it worked. There's one Hawaiian and one garlic bread. Eh? One Hawaiian and a garlic bread. Eh, um, right. And here's your giveaway. The Orange Organic Slatus album. Giveaway? You mean for free? Yeah, on one condition. Eh, uh, what's that? On one condition. That you enjoy it and tell your friends about it. Sure. Why not? Um, how much for the pizza? How much for the pizza? It's thirteen fifty. He was happy. He got his pizza. And he got a record. But you charged him $3.50 more than the cost of the pizza. Yeah, to cover the cost of the record. Oh, nobody complained. The only calls were from people wanting to know where to get more records because they did like it and they did tell their friends. But what you did was totally dishonest, Bazza. Well, it depends which way you look at it. I mean, plenty of firms have giveaways, but we all pay for them in some way. And there's no such thing as a freebie, is there? You didn't give the customers the choice. If you said... This is the cost of the pizza. And you can have this record at a discount price. But I wouldn't have sold many records. Right. And they wouldn't have known how good it was. Oh, well, Bazza. It was worth a try, but... Well, it was a great idea. The medicine opened the door. They were all so lonely, and so they appreciated the company. They liked the music. It was all set up for a sale. But when it came to the crunch, I couldn't take their money. I really would love to buy the record, but I'm not sure I have the money to spare. Oh, don't. Let me see if I can find some. I usually put a few cents aside for the electric light bill. Oh, no. Please don't. I just want you to have it. What, dear? I really would like you to have it, as a present. I could have sold seven records, but I couldn't take any money from them. They're all such dear people, all sick, all lonely, and the record gave them such pleasure. They couldn't pay for it and I couldn't take their money. She's right, Jen, it was a great idea. It just didn't work. I get those ideas all the time. So gang, where are we? We've done well and we've sold... 24 records. 24? That won't even reimburse us for the shoe leather. I suppose we'll have to find some other way of selling this heap of records. Crinkle Harper. Crinkle Harper? Used to sell his records after the gig. We've got a gig on Saturday night. Let's do a Crinkle Harper. You did the right thing, Margaret. I know I did. Bringing this contract home. I thought you'd say that. According to the terms of this contract, they could have sold the entire stock of records and the organics would have made $460. What? <laughs> May I? No, Frank. I'll do that. I haven't had much success either. I think it'll take more than us to make this record a hit. Well, we just have to try harder, that's all. Mm. Oh, you've done very well, Peter. But 24 sales will hardly pay for the packing paper. Still, good job. I'm so sorry that things are going badly here. I just can't leave. Oh, that's all right, Aunt Annabelle. I understand. Well, you never know. A good fairy might suddenly appear. Or even a garden gnome from under a mushroom. Uh, when did you say your next gig was? You know me, I wear the latest fashion. You know me, my hair I dye, but you wouldn't care.
Well, guys, uh, that's it for us for today. Um, now, if you like our music, we've got some albums at the back we'd be happy to autograph and sell. Uh, they're real cheap, too. And they're good for things like birthdays, Christmas presents, all that sort of stuff. I won't tell you how cheap they are because we don't want to get killed in the rush. But I'd say if you had $10, you'd have enough money left for a Coke and a bucket of chips. OK, catch you later. <laughs> Want an autograph? Certainly would. On this contract. Contract? Hey, I'm from Mushroom Records and uh, very interested in distributing your album. Hey, but don't sell too many today. Want to be left with something to do. Now that's more like it. There's nothing wrong with that contract. <laughs> That must have been what Aunt Annabelle meant when... You never know. A good fairy might suddenly appear. Or even a garden gnome from under a mushroom. I knew she wouldn't let us down. I'll just let the others know that you think it's OK. Then I'll ring Aunt Annabelle. Oh, and son, congratulations. <laughs> You've done it, Pumpkin! <gasps> Well, suppose I better say something. You little ripper! A little bit of mixed emotion. Mix it up and bless you. Make sure that you don't spill any